I'm Sean, this is Holly, and we've gone from traveling in massive European cities like these, to living in the most remote parts of England like this. <laughs> video we want to show you what it's like to become a different type of travelers and the perks that come with it <laughs> and also I'll be showing you locations just like this so come on let's go <laughs> so if you've watched any of our videos beforehand you'd have known something like this Holly would have hated especially when we've just climbed down something like that but Holly's now a changed person she uh, she loves the outdoors <laughs> She's uh, becoming one with nature. Um, one thing I did want to talk to you about was um, how are you finding the fact that we are, was it 20 minutes from the nearest town to get like any sort of shopping? Sean, we're half an hour. Bus. Half, half hour. an hour on the bus. We're yeah. two and a half hours walk. Yeah. <laughs> how um, it's something I thought I'd never do. Yeah. I always said that I see myself more as a city person or like a suburb of a city. And uh, yeah, I don't mind it. It's, it's peaceful. It's peaceful, yeah. And uh, if anything, it's making me dislike people even more. Because <laughs> when I do have to deal with them, yeah, it's it's chaos. Whereas we're so used to now dealing with maybe what fifteen people that we know maximum. Maximum, yeah. On a day. Yeah, we're dealing with oh, just. When we go to somewhere like the, the town, we're going there because we need shopping or we're going there because we need something. And there's everyone just going, ooh, a camping shop. Ooh, <laughs> another camping shop. Yeah, if you're anywhere in the lakes, you know for a fact that there's no other shops other than camping shops. Yeah. <sighs> but um, yeah, it's, it's very different, isn't it? Like, it's, it is, it's very nice that we've got more time as well. So we live on site of our workplace, don't we? Yes. So um, we now have all the time <laughs> in the world. Literally, we do 37 hours a week. Yep. Uh, uh, there's no commuting time on that. Nope. Um, there's a lot of split shifts. So there's a lot of time that we have time to ourselves. Yes, we've got a lot of outdoor stuff and walking, but this has been one of the nicest days in the last two weeks. The last three weeks. three weeks. Nearly four weeks. We had four weeks of really good weather. Wow. Four weeks of bad, and now it's just on and off a little bit. So we're, we're happy about this. Yeah, this is... But Sean, Sean couldn't have waited to use his microphone until today when it was, you know, nice and sunny. Because as you'll have seen in the last video, Sean dragged me out of my nice, comfy, warm bed <laughs> to film in the pouring rain. Yeah, oh, well, the microphones... Oh, I had issues with the microphone in the last video. Um, didn't have the dead kitten on them. Um, as you see now, Holly's got hers on now. No, there's going to be teething problems with it for the first yeah. couple of videos until we get used to them ourselves yeah so. also we have noise cancelling on on them yeah uh, all the time just now but if it bothers anyone let us know and we'll try it the other way we'll probably turn it off later in the video especially when we get close to the waterfall which i think we're i think we're, we're at this is called which one's galany force waterfall nice i think we're here and then we're walking off to some infinity pools at black moss i think this Maybe part of it. Oh yeah. Black moss porch one. Yeah, this is beautiful. How far away from home? Like half hour walk? Uh, more than that. <laughs> um, we're about four miles from home. All right. We've walked it. Yeah, this is this is nice. Wow. So that was the waterfall. We're now heading off to a uh, infinity pool, like a little pool of water. And we jump in. <laughs> Did you just mansplain what an infinity pool is? Apparently so. Um, <laughs> a pool is like a it's like a vessel with water. 
Thanks. <laughs> I really sound like that. You really do. Oh, I messed up here, didn't I? <laughs> well, well then, it's fine. It's fine. I'm literally standing in water while laughing at her. Um, anyway, I was going to talk to you about the fact that we don't have a car at the moment. Yeah. Um, so a lot of our trips in Scotland, when we did a lot of the travelling around Scotland, we saw a lot of it due to the fact we had a car. And uh, this place does remind me of Glen Co. It's beautiful like that. But um, we kind of talk, talk about it off camera, wasn't we? You're saying about it's annoying not to have a car down here, but also we wouldn't use a car to see the local area too much anyway. No. Because parking is ridiculously priced. Yep. What's the perks of not having a car here? It's not expensive. Yeah, saving a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, cons is hey, so We've got two days off coming up together and we looked in at going away. But going away means essentially spending one of our days off travelling. Yeah. It's not worth it. And then travelling back near... We literally have like seven hours or something if we went to go to Liverpool, which isn't too far in miles, but it is in distance for like travel distance because we have to go all the way up to go all the way down so it's five and a half hours yeah that's beautiful there isn't it yeah i can't decide if that would be warmer because it's moving or cold colder yeah yeah it's like the water's warmer earlier i mentioned about the fact that we have more time and this doesn't actually mean that I can do more videos though because as much as this area is beautiful and I've got big plans for a big documentary video that I want to do at the end of oh, our that was deep. time here. Yeah. <laughs> if you're alright, you're falling yeah. over. Um, it's harder to do a lot of videos um, because there's not many too many places. You also don't want to do a lot of samey. Yeah. Like as much as this is a different what that we're doing today. For someone who doesn't live down here or hasn't visited down here, yeah. a lot of it's going to look the exact same. Yeah. Is it, is oh look, it's another lake, or oh look, it's another, you know. Yeah, someone who's following me because they want to know about backpacking and travelling on a budget, like they, they picked me up in Europe. So yeah. If, unfortunately. If I did four videos on the Lake District, you're going to get very bored very yeah, quick. Yep. And unfortunately, um, this is how the channel's going to have to be for now. But, saying that, we do have a new video idea, which we're going to be weekly, every Thursday at 6pm. There's going to be me and Holly having a lovely discussion about what it's like to be a couple travelling together. And uh, we're going to pick one thing that we really enjoyed about each other's company this week, being travellers, and one thing that we absolutely hated. <laughs> Isn't that right, Holly? Yep. She says that she can find so many things. Yeah, Sean asked me the other day, oh, do you think you'll be able to think of something? I'm like, Sean, you're incredibly editating. I'm sure I'll be able to find something. <laughs> Whereas I am just perfection. <laughs> good luck, Sean. Yeah, I'm going to have so many Ow. good things to say, and I'm going to struggle to find anything bad. Isn't that right? Yep. Um, you, I don't, know, don't think this is going to cause chaos yet. We haven't filmed any of it yet, but um, I kind of want to do a bit about kind of brand this channel a little bit more couples that want to travel together or what it's like if you was to find someone while traveling and try and travel with them. It also them. doesn't have to be couples. It can, it's very comparative to traveling with friends, traveling with anyone. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, if you travel with friends, you probably have the same sort of like problems and good things about it. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. Watch. Yep. Alright, <laughs> 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 right, let's go. So we're here. So there you go guys, we're at Black Moss Park. Oh, well, we're just about to leave anyway. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I've moved my um, mic onto the side of my bag, so it should, should be all right. We went for a swim. Well, I did. I did. Sean got in about 20 minutes later. 
it took me a while to get I did get in, it just took me a while to get in. Like I had to like slowly warm my legs Sean up. Sean doesn't do the rip off like a band-aid. He does he does the I'd stick my pinky toe in and then I'll get my and then I get my second toe in. And then I'll get my big toe in. <laughs> it, it works. It's a technique that works for me. Apart from the fact when I got out I felt like I was on fire. Um yeah. Such nice. a drama queen. So describe the first time we went to a pole. <laughs> it was um, during the heat wave that we had <laughs> and with our colleagues. Um, oh no, it was, just, it was just one of them. Yeah. She was like, come on, we're going for a swim. And we're like, what? <laughs> She's like, yeah, we're going for a swim. We're just going to go jump in the river. And we're like, no, really, seriously, what we do? <laughs> She's like, no, come on, it's so hot. Come on, we go do it. It's like, all right, okay then. We've done it loads of times. We get in and it's like, it's freezing and I'm like <sighs> and you, you Sean was having a meltdown yeah it was it was cold it was cold but I adjusted to it quickly and Sean I think he got into his shins yeah and that was enough that was enough for Sean and the other time we did it was oh, we've been there a couple of times didn't we yeah we've done it once with them um, the two of them and then the other time is uh we went down to where the YHA is which one is that? What deal? The Borrowed Whitehead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a, there's a, uh, one just there, which is really nice. There's so many though yeah. all over the lakes. Yeah. Yeah. Wild swimming is. Um, it's one right here if you're brave enough. <laughs> <laughs> wild swimming, something to uh, tick off if you are thinking of coming more with nature. Um, walking, wild swimming, stuff like that. It's nice. It's very different. Again. It's nice. To, whoa. Careful. Yeah. I'm right. It's um, nice to do after because we just walked for two and a half hours. Yeah. And uh, not that warm outside, but you get warm. It's nice to go in and just your muscles. I, I don't ache anymore. I do. No, I don't. <laughs> no. My skin feels so soft as well. It does feel soft. But yeah, it's nice to do after a long walk and uh, yeah, we're both just sitting there chilling there. We had a little bit of a picnic as well. But for the next video, you're going to see us talking about what it's like to have a living job. Uh, we're talking about how much money you can make, how much money you can save, and going into details about the living sort of side of it. What you're looking for when you're looking for a living, living job, job as well. Yeah, we give perks on yeah. how to get your own living job. And to be fair, they are great. But you're not getting ours. You're not getting ours. No. <laughs> okay, and I'll see you again. Oh, my <laughs>